Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a second year apprentice electrical fitter at the Burley Depot for City Power and Powerful. What initially attracted me was sort of the variety and as well as the specialization in the industry uh, or the electrical industry itself. When I worked as a traffic controller, I was luckily a contractor for City Power and Power Corp. And as well, when they actually came to my TAFE and to my pre-app, they were able to go into each of the different roles. Um, they talked about all the different trades people and like, you know, what they did. They also advertised a Women in Electrical Industry scholarships, which I was very lucky enough to get. We meet at the depot every morning at about 7.30 and we run through the day's job with the crew that's working on that job for the day, which could be ranging from myself and to other tradespeople, or it could be up to six tradespeople plus myself. It sort of really just depends on what the job is. And from there, you know, we do all of our safety talks and, you know, we make sure everyone knows what's going on. And then we head out to the job and we complete it. As a substation electrician, what I do is I work on all these different components, be from, you know, uh, working on the high voltage switch and testing it and making sure that it works efficiently and properly and safely, which is what our role is for the network. We have to make sure these assets do work properly. I guess I've learned how to properly communicate with people in both corporate and also on-site setting. Personally, I guess my workmates have helped me build high morales and um, standards for myself in my work and also like emotionally. They've been very supportive since day dot, my mentor especially, as well as learning like how they came into the industry and you know, how passionate they still are to this day after like 50, 60 years and they're still passionate for it. I think that's kind of one of the good things that I've learned and it's one of the things I like to take from them just keeping that passion for the industry. If you know someone tells you you can't do something don't you know don't believe in it because I got told many times by recruiters um, and such that I wouldn't be able to be a tradesperson and obviously I proved them wrong here I am second year two years to go and you know, I'm more than grateful that I did have to go through all those hard times because it did, it makes me value where I am now today. So I guess the message is, you know, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it because you can.